I saw one of your opposition leader make a joke. I don't know if anyone saw it about hell and heaven. Did anyone see it? I know you don't. And I think he was in, either in a funeral or in a meeting. He said that if don't be afraid of death. Did anyone see it? That if you die, there are only two places you can go. And I was keen because me, life after death is interesting. So I like knowing what you think. So I was honestly going to, I took a pen and a paper and I was willing to write. Maybe Jehovah had given him wisdom and I was willing to learn it. And then he said, these words, may the Lord rebuke you. He said, don't be afraid if you go to heaven. I can't really remember the exact word, but the context was if you go to heaven, it's good. And then he says, but don't even be more afraid because if you go to hell, at least you meet many of your friends. Can you imagine? That is your, you know the opposition leader. I'm saying it is, I'm saying it publicly. Then I waited to see the reaction. I thought, I saw preachers there. I waited to see a preacher stand and say, the Lord rebuke you. Preachers too are laughing. My heart was furious. I went to the Lord. I said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that dares to speak without understanding of the things of the dead? He said that if you go to hell, that you will have many of your friends at least. He thinks hell is his household. He thinks that hell there is a couch. So it means what Jesus came to save us from. Jesus wasted his time because according to you, you will still be okay. So let us just be comfortable and send a generation to because your friends are there. What will friends do to you according to fire? Which cloth will they give you to separate you from the fire of the abyss? And when we say this, you rise up with your little understanding and you castigate men that have dined with Yahweh. Can you hear me? You don't have what it takes. We didn't come here to be loved by you. We don't, listen, don't waste your time. We don't want to be loved. We have made this public. We say it with all humility. We want to serve God. And if it is at the expense of love, so be it. 